Hello everyone, and welcome to So Many Games So Little Time. My name is Joachim, and today we'll be playing Mission Catastrophe, or in French, Mission Catastrophe. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you have a French version or not, but whatever. So, this is Mission Catastrophe. Basically, it's your typical, well, at first glance anyway, it's your typical game where you are fighting uh, against invaders and meteorites, and you're trying to survive. But this game is, I guess, most popular for its... Uh, not cooperative mode, but it's sole survivor mode where everyone is trying to keep the ship afloat, but there's only one pod, one of these six, one escape pod that you can use to leave. However, I'm doing the solo, I'm playing the solo game. That means all three of them have to escape. And aside from meteorites hitting our ship uh, continuously, there's also two of these guys, the tall and the shorter marauder, who will be uh, messing up our ship. Now, um, what do I need to win? Each of these four need a power pack, an oxygen tank, and navigation, navigation codes, and food rations. They also need to have the fuse uh, lit so the pod can leave the ship. The pod also needs power from the engine room. So if the engine room has no power, you can't leave. All right. Um, also, when the marauder is on the same spot as somebody and they take away their last card then uh, they capture you and then you also lose the game also when for example operations is destroyed the pod is also destroyed so you need to make sure because we're playing with three that three pods survive so in this case the more you play with uh, the more characters you play with the more difficult it gets i feel because it's going to be more difficult to keep everything afloat or maybe not i don't know i'm not going to try and play with six uh, three is my limit. I can imagine there's three people piloting the ship. Uh, doesn't need to be a big ship or whatever. Okay, now you can first of all see these resources that they need. They are color coded, so orange, orange, red, red, uh, green, green, yellow, yellow. So of course those are the modules where you get them. All these other modules they have specific uh, abilities that are here. Crew quarters have no abilities, and the reason for that is that it's the number one, and every time we start our turn we will roll for damage and of course you cannot roll a one with two dice the minimum is two so that's why it has no uh, powers then number two um let's see here operations very popular you can draw three cards keep one the rest go at the bottom of the deck so there's a downside it doesn't go discard it's the bottom and this is actually supposed to start with one card in the discard which is quick thinking then number three is maintenance, which allows you to repair one cube anywhere on the ship. They have a laboratory here. You can exchange three of these non-resource cards. The so resources are the colored ones, right? You can take three and get one or get rid of one colored one and get three um, in the laboratory. Then we have the number five, which is resource six, seven, eight as well. Nine is the cargo bay, which means you can get a card from the discard. Number 10 is a teleporter. You can move anywhere or you can pull someone from anywhere to you. And 11 is the bridge where you can set the fuse. And then 12 is the sensors, sensors where you can remotely look at one of the pods. Now, on your turn, what's gonna happen? First, you're gonna roll for damage and then remove a cube. If at any time the first cube is removed, it's fine. Second cube means it's powered down so you can't use the action of the module third cube starts a cascade that would mean there would be one cube gone here and here so you can imagine if the greenhouse has one sensors has one uh crew quarters has one and the greenhouse blows up boom 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 but then this one booms so boom and boom this one booms boom and boom and boom so i should say cascades but boom is funnier all right so that's something to avoid of course um so on your turn you roll for damage and then you can do three actions and one is a move then another one is to draw a card the other one is to use a card the other one is to repair the module wherever you are those are all limitless uh, view the escape pod you can also do it multiple times but i don't see why because you know <laughs> then activate a roll card ability that's also going to be once and um use the module where you're standing on is also once and because we're doing co-op you can also transfer at the moment they can freely exchange cards with each other which would be really good but i'll explain for that, that later i'll explain that later you have these white cubes here 
these serve no purpose aside from for me to remember whose turn it was and whose turn it is next. That's why. Now I need to check if these are actually in the image or not. Uh, yes. Yeah. I can just move a little bit to the left and give everybody a little bit more space. All right. So we have David, Iman, we have Chad, we have Lelu. Lelu comes from Mayhew Station. Chad comes from Reptuvius Colony, and David comes from the Lunar Lab Complex. Uh, it definitely looks like a clone. Anyway, David is a first mate. He can use operations uh, no matter where he is, but uh, it has to have power. So if two cubes are gone, he cannot do that. Another thing, whenever a ship, whenever the ship is damaged, this damage moves to here. So green, yellow, red. Okay. Um, I mean, the more damage, the more critical the ship becomes, the ship in uh, integrity. All right, so he can do that. Then we have Chad. He is a communications officer. He can use the sensors wherever he is, so he can always look at one of the pods. And then Leilu uh, is a janitor. She hates litter, and that basically means whenever someone dies, she can take one of the discards. Of course, as long as it's not her. You can also see uh, Chad and David, their skills is only a one-timer. So on their turn, I mean, once per turn. And then we have our very annoying friends. These guys, they're going to be rolling damage first to see where they start. So let's see. The first, let's do the small one first. Six. So he's going to start in the greenhouse and the greenhouse has one damage. Now, preferably, I want this one to be quite close to that one as well. But let's see. Three. Wow, this is really bad. He's right next to us. Now we're playing with cadet difficulty. That means one of them will move uh, each turn. And the one that will move will be the one who is closest to the active player. So this guy, most likely after the first turn, is immediately going to be in the middle of everyone and uh, causing havoc, which is really, really, really annoying. Um, now, however, if we're lucky, if we're lucky, if maintenance gets damaged again, we could kill him instantly. Because before the game starts, setup-wise, each of them will roll for damage, and whoever rolls the lowest will be the starting player. But if two people roll the same amount, if they tie for lowest, then they have to roll again, which means two extra damage to the ship, which happened in another game, which was horrible. Okay, David will roll once. He has 11. Bad roll, David. Bridge is damaged. Then Chad, eight, another bad roll. So for now, Chad starts, and then Leilu, seven. And Jerome, also bad. <laughs> okay, so we're actually ready to start the game. Um, a little bit about the cards that they all have. David has Eva, which means he can just teleport himself to wherever he wants. Requisition form means he can give a card to someone wherever they are. Uh, Chad has food rations, which you need to leave. Artifact 42, which is a, a card that's wild. It can count as any resource, so he can also leave anytime. He also has a card that can transport him to anywhere. Lady Lou has quick thinking, which means he can do something before anything else, like before damage and everything, she could do that and two remote repairs, which are really good. Now, lowest one was Lady Lou, so she's going to start. It's also the one who, I don't know, maybe I didn't want to start, have starts. <laughs> so Lady Lou could go to the teleporter and take someone with, someone with her. Um, that way, he will damage only one person. But then it's just, uh, only temporary, right? So let me check because I need to know for sure if uh, what I said before is correct about who moves first with these guys if you do it one by one. Well, here it says the small one moves first because that's the one with all the dice roll first. So at least he moves first, then she doesn't have to worry about this one just yet. He will move next time. So uh, in that case, I'm going to give them both a color cube. So let's do purple and blue. Um, and if they've moved, I'll put it on there and then I'll remove it again. 
All right, so the small one's gonna move at the end. So he's gonna go to sensors and uh, damage it. So there's no way yet to actually get rid of him. Um, Cause you wanna use scavenge when they're at a spot. Uh, when they're at a spot, maybe you can destroy, maybe you can destroy the building. So I think, Because he will then go wherever the, the active guy comes go, so you can actually lead him away. Especially if you use EVA, you can get him to go a certain way. Because the small one is always going to follow the, the lower lower number. So it's now Leilu, right? Next will be David. If David goes up, then he will not go like this. He will go like this, because the high one always takes the higher number. So Leilu is going to try to get some more scavenge, I think. But she doesn't have any. So one and two, and the third one will be the operations action. So draw three cards and keep one. So we have power pack, which is really good because there's one of each of them in here actually. A bear, which is useless. It's very good when you're doing the soul survivor thing, but not very good in this one actually. And then override. Override is also good because it stops one of them from moving. So the power and these, when you do this, it goes to the bottom of the deck. So now the choice between the power pack or override, because override, she actually can't use. But being able to stop these guys will be really good if you have a second scavenge later on. But I think because of the lack of cards, we should take the power pack. She's going to actually, no, no, override. I'm too scared of those guys. Okay, so that was Lady Lu, Lady Lu, sorry. But she didn't roll for damage, did she? Before her turn, because it's three, five. Yeah, she didn't roll for damage. So she did damage where? Nine, where is nine? There, cargo bay. Okay, so I forgot that. So then this guy moves and he moves here and damages the sensors. So this guy's moved. All right, now it is David. So um, David has to go to the laboratory or the teleporter, one of the two. Um, both of them aren't especially good. Or you could do the EVA and go to navigation. Uh, not the bridge, because the bridge will just go straight. Navigation, then the same, same navigation or operations actually. So he's gonna use his EVA and he is going to teleport to operations and draw three parts. You have Quackalope, Requisition Format, Oxygen Tank. Quackalope is kind of useless. I mean, you can get a second roll, which I guess is nice, but then you can't use the space suit which is annoying this gives a card to anybody anywhere but he already has that so he's just gonna go for the oxygen tank not really what we wanted um now i just use chad's card instead of his card okay so that was two actions so he teleported and he drew a card and then his final action will be to draw another card Another requisition form. Wow, you can really just give cards to everyone. All right, so that's done. Chad. But now the this guy moves, so he's going to move down and he will damage the life support. Oh, I'm so stupid. Yeah, I'm so stupid. I should have gone up. That way Cargo Bay would have been one. The perfect timing to destroy him. Yeah, that was stupid. Okay, think more strategically. Then we have Chad, who's in the middle. This guy's gonna follow him. So he's gonna choose the lowest number. So he's always gonna go through uh, crew quarters unless he goes to the bridge that will lead him to the greenhouse, damaging it. And then David could give the scavenge to Leilu, who can then use it and kill that guy. So I missed a roll somewhere, so I'm gonna roll again. So nine is damaged again. So cargo bay is at one. Yeah. And then I roll again for him. And then it's correct. 
because it wasn't correct now. And now, chat. Three. Um, here. So it's Chad. Uh, like this small one is gonna move. Um, she's gonna follow him. But there's nowhere to lure him into a one area. But it, like I said, we're gonna use EVA. He goes to the bridge. Um, so he still has two left. One of them will be to draw a card. Another EVA. And his last action will be to draw a card. Spacesuit. Okay, fair enough. All right. So then he got he moved, this guy moves here. Does damage to the greenhouse, and then it's Leilu's turn. Eight. So navigation is damaged. So I cannot lose three pods. So that's very important. I can't lose three pods, I can't lose four. So, David is going to give his scavenge to Lady Lou. Lady Lou, that's one action. Then she's going to use scavenge to damage this, but that will cause damage here and here. But this guy will be vented into outer space. So he's not going to move at all. Okay, so there's only one left now, so you know who's going to move at the end of the turn. Um, Leilu got a card from David, she then uh, used it, which destroyed that guy, and now she still has one action left, and she's going to remote repair navigation, uh, because we don't want to lose a pod. There you go. Done. And this guy moves close to them, and the teleporter is damaged. There was Leilu, then it's David. And he rolls seven. Engine room. That's bad. Alright, so he has two requisition forms, but nothing to give to people. So he is going to draw three first. Yeah. Override quick thinking or scavenge. He's going to keep scavenge. So that's his first action. Um... Then Leilu is going to give override to David, who is then going to use it. So that's one, get it two, use it three. So this guy is not moving at all. So that's David's turn. And it's Chad. You like this, I guess. Chad has six for damage. Nothing. But he is stuck though, because he, oh, he has a spacesuit, so he can actually go through or just teleport. Because he doesn't want him to go there, rather have it back there. So if he goes to the engine room or maintenance, then he's pretty much safe. So he's going to use his EVA to teleport to maintenance. Maybe just repair this first one, then second, and third. Repair maintenance. Okay. Then this guy moves here and damages life support. Alright, it's done. Then Leilu will roll. Three. Maintenance. <laughs> it's close. Alright, so Leilu will get scavenge from David, then use. Oh, she can't. Oh wait, so get scavenge from David, that's the first one. She'll use remote repair to repair maintenance. Then she will use scavenge on this guy. So he's gone. So they're both off the board, but they will come back um, if we ever reach red. 
and now it's really dangerous actually especially for a chad who's a if it's a three nine or seven he's a goner so chad's done uh lelu is done so now it's david nine oh it's a cargo bay oh this is bad oh by the way this is destroyed because this was attached to life support so e is destroyed um boom 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 um i don't know if i'm supposed to look at it was i supposed to see that it's e let me see oh without exposing its id okay so that means we're going to do a little shuffle here, ladies and gentlemen. Cannot show the ID. Two pods are going to be gone. And poor Chad was not wearing his spacesuit. Which he should have done. But yeah. Okay. So basically, boom. Which also booms this one and this one. But also this one, and then this woman boom, so this booms this one too, and these two are destroyed. This one should have been removed earlier, as I said before. And all these go here. So 15, 14, 13, 12, and then 11. And he goes to the nearest room with oxygen, but he loses his cards, which is really bad, especially for Artifact 42. And maintenance is destroyed. Ugh, horrible. Uh, so that happened on whose damage roll? David's, I guess. Yeah. I guess it's David's because Lei Lu did all of that to clear, to kill the guy. Uh, David, he's still there. First action is going to be he's going to draw three. Hack the bridge, spacesuit, and quick thinking. Um, he's gonna get a spacesuit. And he's gonna move one and repair the teleporter. Because you don't have any cascades anymore. Sensors can still cascade, but at least it's, you know, we can manage it normally. So that's him done. So then Chad. 11. Bridge. My goodness. The chat has nothing. Um, so he's going to move one, repair the sensors, and draw a card. Remote repair. At least that's good. Then it's Leilu. Seven. Seven. Nothing. Okay, cool. She just has quick thinking, um, but she's going to draw three, keep one. Space with space with override. So override can also copy someone's card. So I'm going to keep override, even though space suit looks really good. Override can be used together with Chad's remote repair to fix maintenance. All right, so that's done. David rolls. Oh, wait, 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 wait. not yet. Because she just started her turn there, right? So she still has two actions left. Um, huh. Well, she's going to draw an extra card, which is override. Huh. And then she's going to uh, look at the pod. It's E. Okay, so E is still in the game. All right, then David rolls. Seven. Nothing. Cool. So he's going to wear his spacesuit. That's his first action. Um, he's going to repair the teleporter and then move here. So even if a meteor is hit here, it doesn't matter if it's empty. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if you're there or not, it just passes through. Okay, cool. Chad then. Uh, rolls because that was his turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Spacesuit move entering. Seven. 
Nothing. Well, it's all sevens now. So Chad has remote repair. So Chad is going to remote repair maintenance. And then Leilu will play override to do another main. She cannot play the second one because that would cancel out her previous override. Oh, I'm not sure, but we're not doing that. So just play one. So that was his first action. He still has two actions. Um, He's going to go one here and then draw three and keep one. Actually, no. He's going to stand here and draw two cards. Acquisition four and scavenge. Okay. Boom. Lelu. Nine. Nothing. Cool. So she is there. Um, We actually need a remote repair again, or go to maintenance. But it's pretty far for her to just walk, so she's going to get three. Choose one. So spacesuit, navigation codes, and wormhole. Wormhole allows you to move stuff around, which is pretty powerful. Yeah, we'll use a wormhole. Take a wormhole, sorry. And... Um, She still has two actions, so she'll move. Uh, she'll move, she'll move, she'll move. Oh, when he died, she could have gotten a card when he died. So, what did he have? She'd take Artifact 42 because of her skill. It was definitely already yellow. Um. So anyway, she still has two actions, right? So we already drew... I think she's just gonna draw another card. Scavenge. And she's gonna use Scavenge to repair the bridge. There you go. There you go. Okay, that's her done. David. 11. Yeah, the bridge that's just been repaired. Come on, David, man. So he's going to repair life support twice. And then grab an oxygen tank. He already has one, but they can always meet up and then share. Um, okay, that's his turn done. Chad. Seven. Engine room, nothing. Okay, so he can basically remote repair. Um, so he's going to use scavenge to repair the greenhouse. That's one. Two, repair the greenhouse, and then get food rations for three. Okay, done. Leilu is four. That's going to be a hit, isn't it? Now, the laboratory. Up. Okay, so she has a bunch of stuff um, that she can do, but we need to get going. Do operations one more time, one, two, three. Override, hang the bridge, lift and shift. What is lift and shift? Probably swapping to um, all players simultaneously move their crew member to the module of the crew member controlled by the player to their left. Oh, so huh. all players simultaneously move their crew member to the module of the crew member controlled by the player to their left. So everybody just like. David goes to Chad, Chad goes to Leilu, and Leilu goes to David, basically. Like, zoom. It's pretty nice, actually. Because it puts them in the position to get all the other stuff. Um, override is also good, because you can double stuff. She's going to go... She's going to go... Lift and shift, why not? 
So that's the first, oh, that's right, goes to the bottom. So that's the first action. Second action and third action will be uh, lift and shift. So she goes to David, David goes to Ch Chad, and Chad goes to there. So then her third action will be to get an oxygen tank. All right, then it's David's turn. He has three. That's maintenance. It's really bad. Up. And he's super far away now. Um, so his first action will be to get food rations, because that's a good thing to do. And then he has two more actions. Um, he will move to the bridge and repair it. And then hope that Chad doesn't roll three. Eight. So navigation. Okay, Chad is there now. He's going to draw three and choose one. Remote repair. The rest, I don't care. So he's going to immediately, sorry, bottom. He's going to immediately use remote repair. And uh, repair maintenance. And then he has one more action left. Uh, He's going to go to the teleporter. There you go. Lelo. Five. Life support. She's exactly where she is. So her first action will be to fix life support. And then she goes up, second action, and then she will use the module as a third action to fix navigation. There you go. That was a quick turn. And then it's David. Four. Laboratory, and that cascades damaging navigation and crew quarters and destroying this pod. There's only three left. Okay, now he cannot get to navigation, so he's just gonna have to draw one card. See what happens. Remote repair, perfect. Use remote repair to fix navigation. Okay, and then I remember somewhere was an E, so he's going to activate the bridge for E. And then finally, uh, he's going to use requisition form to C to send an oxygen tank to Chad. All right, so Chad, do not roll one. Okay, it's easy. Okay, roll whatever, Chad. Nine. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All right, so he's there. He can teleport to anywhere. He does not have a spacesuit, but he can teleport to anywhere. So he's going to teleport to navigation. He's going to fix it. That's his second action. And uh, then he's going to grab the codes. Actually, no, he's going to look. It's A. All right, so we have E with A. So remember, David, it's A. And then it's Leilu. Six. Greenhouse. Not very good. But she's at the maintenance, so she will fix the greenhouse. There you go. And then she has uh, two more moves. Um, she should have used override with that remote repair. But anyway, just two more moves. Um, she doesn't have a so she doesn't have a space suit. So she's just gonna grab a card requisition form. She's going to grab another card, which gives her seven, which is the maximum. Hack the bridge. Okay. That's her turn done. Then it's David's turn. Eight. Navigation gets damaged, but that's okay. He will activate A. That's two pods that are already accounted for. And he has two more actions. He'll draw a card, which is EVA, which is good because we have a hacked bridge. So he's going to immediately you no, he's going to repair the bridge. So it's activate the fuse, repair and draw. Done. Then we have Chad, who rolls a three. 
So maintenance is damaged again. Um, very dangerous if another three is rolled. Um, okay, he's gonna get a card. Quick thinking. Doesn't do much. Then I'm going to uh, get navigation codes, but then immediately use requisition form 2C to send the codes to David, who now has three out of four things. So that's him done. Then it's Leilu. Now if Leilu rolls three, she can use quick thinking. But I think you have to use quick thinking before, before it. Interrupt. Yeah, okay. So basically... Yeah, okay. Ten. Doesn't matter. Just teleporter is very damaged, so that's done. So she will immediately repair maintenance. Anything else that needs repairing? Not really. She has a lot of stuff. She could send stuff to somebody else. Um, everyone has an auction attack, so it's not necessary. Um, writing is not necessary. She could use wormhole, but then I don't see how that helps at the moment. Uh, I think she'll just repair maintenance again. And she has one repair left. And she will go to crew quarters. Done. David. 10. That was, oh, teleporter again. That's not good. You can cause some cascades. He's only over there. But he doesn't now, he can, get, he can get out of there now because there's a hacked bridge. So he can leave, he has an EVA, so he will go to the teleporter. Zoom, 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 repair it, and then check the letter. B, all right, cool, good to know. So it's done. Then it's Chad. He rolls four, nothing there. So he will get navigation codes. Done. Busy. Everybody's missing the power pack, uh, but only David can get there with his spacesuit. Uh, so second action will be to draw a card, which is scavenge, which is good for the engine room. And then he's gonna draw another card, EVA, which is also good. Okay, that's him done. Leilu. Six. Six. Greenhouse. Also dangerous again. Um, she's at crew quarters, so she could potentially just run to the greenhouse and fix it. Uh, I'm thinking she still has a bunch of stuff that she needs. Um, bum, 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 bum. She's gonna draw a card. A spacesuit. And she's gonna wear the spacesuit. That's the second action. And third action is repair crew quarters. No. David, who is wearing a spacesuit. Roll six. Oi. Boom, boom, boom. The greenhouse is destroyed. Um, David is there. He's on the teleporter, so you can just teleport to the engine room because he's wearing a spacesuit and fix it twice. So the engine room is back online. All right, so there's Chad. Don't roll 12, Chad. He rolled six, which is nothing because I just got destroyed. Um, he does have scavenge which can be doubled by this one. So it's gonna scavenge and then she is gonna override, which means this happens twice and they're gonna fix the cargo bay. Because then you can go into discard and get something. Um, 
So that's actually one action. So there's two actions left. He will repair navigation. No, he will not. He will move one down and fix sensors. There you go. Done. Leilu. Ten. Teleporter damaged again. I think I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this now. It's just uh, continuously, you know, uh, making sure everything happens where we want it. So we hack the bridge and do B, right? Um, then we uh, boom, 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 boom. two actions left. We'll go to the cargo bay. Do we need to though? Let's see. We we'll just go to the engine room. One, two. And then it's back to David to roll. Six. Nothing. David will grab a power pack, but then use requisition form 2C to send the power pack to Chad, who now has everything. And then he will repair the engine. And then it's Chad. Eight. Navigation, but Chad will go up and fix navigation because you definitely cannot use that. So that's his first and second action. So he's just there with one more action. He'll draw a card. No, I'll just use EVA to move to the bridge. Okay. Leilu. Six. She will get a power pack. Um, she's not going to reposition it, but she is going to use the wormhole and move the bridge two steps closer. There you go. So it's easily accessible. And then we have one more action. Um, she still needs a yellow one or a green one. So she's going to draw a card. Hack the bridge. Good. This is set though. Ah, uh, no, you don't have to. It says here, um, what did it say? Set the fuse, but then in the rule book, it just says go to the pod and you can do it. So I'll set or move it. Yeah, you can move it around. Okay, I misunderstood. So. We didn't need to move the bridge, but whatever. It's done now. Lily's done her turn. It's David's turn. So uh, he'll roll seven. Okay, so David rolled seven. And seven is the engine room. But then David will immediately repair it because the engine room needs to have power for everybody to escape. So then he has two turns left. So he takes a power pack. So he's completely set now, and then he has one more turn, and he's going to draw a card, spacesuits, which he already has. Okay, should have just moved actually. All right, then Chad, 11, the bridge is damaged, but he'll immediately repair the bridge because you cannot have any cascades here. He will just then go, um, he has everything he needs up here to navigation and repair that too. All right, so basically, you repaired the bridge, moved, repaired. Mei Lu, who still needs either yellow or green. She has five, so five is life support. That's still quite okay, actually. And so five went down. So this is dangerous, because if this explodes, then this will explode too, and then we lose the game. So, um, it's Lei Lu. Basically, the teleporter and the engine room needs to be fixed. But the teleporter more than anything else. Uh, engine room and life support. So, one, and then she'll fix that one. Teleporter. Okay. And then she, so it's move one, fix, okay. And then she can move again. Uh, go to crew quarters. 
All right, back to David. Don't roll a five. Ten. Teleporter. Oh my god. It's also not good. Uh, all right, David. So one repairs teleporter. So one is two, three. He'll just follow along, I guess, with her. Chad. Six. Nothing. And he it would have been really good if he had a re reacquisition form, because then he could have taken navigation goals and give it to her. Um, although he can. He'll take one. That's his first action. Take a card. Second action. Emergency meeting. Oh, six. And then use emergency meeting. So both of them are with him now. Uh, that's it. There's Leilu. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. 10. Oh, teleporter again. They really want to destroy the teleporter, huh? So, uh, now, I'm have, now I kind of have a problem. Now we're going to have to be really lucky. Okay, so first of all, one action is to get this. Um, second action is to go down to the bridge and hope the teleporter doesn't, doesn't get destroyed. So, one was getting the card, two is moving, and three is getting a card. Power pack, yeah. So she has seven now, she has to discard one, so she has to discard a power pack. All right, please, David, don't frickin' roll 10. We do have a quick thinking, but a quick thinking isn't gonna save us, I think. Oh my God, it's 10. <laughs> what? It's 10. It's David, right? And the other ones that they use quick thinking. It's nothing to do. Are you kidding me? I can use multiple quick thinking actions. We only have two. Even if I quick think and she moves one, it doesn't make a difference. Bridge action doesn't make a difference. Navigation doesn't make a difference. Receiving a card doesn't make a difference. I shouldn't have had the meeting. I shouldn't have had the meeting to give that card. I shouldn't have had the meeting to take that card. I died. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, this was it. This was a mission catastrophe <laughs> solo against the Marauders. The Marauders themselves wreck wreaked havoc up to the point where I only had three pods left. And I was unable to keep all three because this one would have been exploded. So boom, 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 boom. And that's it. I am so dead. Dead, 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 dead. Super dead. Because there's only two pods left. At least I had the letters correct. Uh, of course, maybe if I didn't have the wormhole mistake, it wouldn't have happened. Or I could have used quick thinking, used wormhole, and that would have been fine. But yeah. It is what it is. I didn't do it. I made a mistake. So. This was Mission Catastrophe, just like my choices were a catastrophe. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. This was uh, Joachim, as always. So many games for the time. Bye-bye.